Hello, I'm David Hurst, CTO of Athena Security. Today, we're going to talk about how you can find and remove redundant and unused rules and objects from your firewall configurations. You know, many people find that their firewalls have become increasingly complex over time. It seems that more and more rules get added to the firewalls, but nobody ever removes them. There are many reasons for this. When a change request comes in, it's frequently difficult to know if there are already existing rules that fulfill the request, so the rules just get added, even if they're redundant. When servers move or applications become obsolete, nobody ever tells the firewall admin that they can remove any associated rules. And knowing the impact of removing any given rule is virtually impossible. So the rules remain, and the configurations continue to accumulate cruft, making the problem even worse. Fortunately, Athena Firepack provides you with a powerful capability for identifying rules and objects that can be removed from the configurations without changing the behavior of your firewalls. This can simplify your configurations by as much as 30 or even 40 percent, making things a lot easier to manage. Let's see how it works. First, I'll select the firewalls from the firewall inventory that I want to clean up. Then I'll click on the Rule Cleanup button to start the analysis for the selected firewalls. This operation will typically take a few minutes per firewall, depending on the complexity of the firewall. When the operation completes, the rule analysis report is generated. Here we see listed each of the firewalls that was selected, and by clicking on it we can go to the summary for that specific firewall. Here we see the number of rules that were identified, the number of redundant and shadowed rules, unused rules, unreferenced objects, unused rules, unused objects, and so forth. For each firewall, a detail report is generated, and we can click on the link here to find that specific report. This report shows a summary of the analysis that was performed for that firewall, including the structural object cleanup, where we look at the specific relationships between rules to identify rules that are redundant, the usage-based rule analysis where we find unused rules and unused objects, and the rule optimization where we can find opportunities to improve the performance of the firewall. Let's take a look at some of these details, starting with the redundancy analysis. Here we see rules that were identified as not contributing to the behavior of the firewall. Let's look at some examples. Rule 104 is identified as being redundant to Rule 91. When we look at Rule 91, we see that it is a pretty general permit FTP rule. And so Rule 104, which allows FTP to a specific host, never gets triggered because Rule 91 captures all of the packets first. So Rule 104 does not contribute to the behavior of the firewall and can be simply be removed. This is a fairly obvious case, but there are some more complicated things that we can find too. For example, Rule 83 is identified as shadowed by two preceding rules, Rules 80 and 81. So here, it's the combination of these two rules that causes Rule 83 to never be triggered and hence does not contribute to the behavior of the firewall. And so it could be removed from the configuration and the behavior of the firewall will not be changed. However, notice that this is identified as a shadow, which means that the action performed by Rule 83 is different than the actions of the shadowing rules 80 and 81. Those rules permit and Rule 83 denies. This means that there may be some intention on the part of the network administrator which is not being carried out, and so you'll want to take a look at that before you go ahead and remove Rule 83. Rule 74 is another example. Here we see Rule 74 is redundant to the following rule, Rule 76. We're not saying that Rule 74 never gets triggered, because obviously it does. However, any packet that might be matched by Rule 74 will also match Rule 76, because Rule 76 is actually a superset rule. And so here again, we can remove Rule 74 without modifying the behavior of the firewall. So in each of these cases, we're finding rules that, because of their relationship to other rules in the configuration, really don't contribute anything to the behavior of the firewall and can simply be removed. The next section of the report shows rules that were identified as being unused. Unlike all of the rest of the analysis performed by Firepack, which is based on deep data flow analytics and an understanding of the behavior of the firewall, the rule usage analysis is based on log data. 
and here we're finding rules that were not triggered during the period in which logs were collected. These rules are candidates for being removed from the configuration, but it requires a judgment call to make sure that the rules actually can be removed. You want to make sure you're not going to remove that one rule that enables the payroll application, but only fires at the end of the month. In addition to rule usage, Firepack also analyzes object usage. NetScreen and Checkpoint firewalls allow references to multiple objects in each field of a rule. Firepack will determine the number of hits to each object in the rule and then identify the objects that are not being used and can be removed from the rule. This provides further opportunities for simplifying the configuration and making it easier to understand. There is also a global object usage analysis. Here we see the number of hits to each object from all of the rules that reference it. Usage is broken down by object member, allowing you to identify unused members that can be removed. The flip side of the unused rules are the most used rules. Here, Firepack has identified the rules that were triggered most frequently during the period in which logs were collected. In addition to giving you some insight into the traffic that's flowing through your firewall, the general recommendation is that you can improve the performance of your firewall by taking the most frequently used rules and moving them up to the beginning of the rule set. Of course, there are frequently order dependencies between the rules and the rule set, and if you just change the order of those rules, it will change the behavior of the firewall. So, Firepack will actually identify those order dependencies for you, as we see displayed here. But it actually goes one step beyond that and will generate an optimized rule order. The optimized rule order is based on moving the most frequently triggered rules as far up in the rule set as they can go, subject to the order dependencies. So this ordering will give you an improvement in the performance of the firewall, but will not change the behavior of the firewall. In addition to the PDF report that we've just been reviewing, Firepack can also generate the rule cleanup report in a spreadsheet format, as we see here. This makes it very easy to cut and paste the analysis results or to repurpose it for another use. For firewalls that have a command line interface, such as Cisco or NetScreen, Firepack uses the results of the rule cleanup analysis to generate a script, such as the one seen here. This script can be applied to the firewall to remove all of the redundant and unused rules and objects. The script is very well organized and heavily documented, so you know exactly what changes are being made and why. If you are using Firepack with the Orion NCM Network Configuration Management tool from SolarWinds, you can execute the script directly. Just select the firewall, then choose the Execute Script menu item, load the script from the file system, and execute it. The changes will be applied automatically to the device. So as we have seen, Firepack makes rule cleanup a snap. All you need to do is import your configuration, run the rule cleanup analysis, review the generated script, and then execute it on the firewall. And boom, you're done. That's all there is to it. For more information about Firepack and other products from Athena Security, please visit our website at www.athenasecurity.net.